Okay, yeah, so I'm a French Italian national. So from a very young age, I was exposed to multiple cultures and languages and, and also nationalities. Um, during high school, um, that I attended in Mentimedia, I developed a strong interest in science and technology. And that's the reason why I chose to, uh, to pursue um, studies in engineering. And I enrolled in the Polytechnic School of Turin. And it was during that time that I learned about the Nanotech program. I was really attracted to it for two main reasons. First, the program's cutting edge nature was well suited to my interest in the newest technology. Um, and secondly, I was really impressed with the, with the international nature of the program, the opportunity to attend university in three different cities. in three different countries, um, experienced three world-class schools, and expand my network was incredibly attractive to me. So I'm a director of business development at Ginkgo Bioworks, which is a biotech company based in Boston, in the US. My job consists um, in creating value by leveraging our technology platform in synthetic biology, identify commercial application for that platform, defining go-to-market strategy, and finding the right business partner to go to market together. At the end, I also build a business case and I raise money with investors. Um, since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, I'm, I've been actually focusing on one specific business, which is creating a concentric which is Ginkgo's biosecurity platform. Um, and in particular, in this platform, we have different product lines. And the one I've been focusing on has been um, COVID-19 surveillance testing services for large organizations, schools, corporations, and the government. So um, the last thing I did with the master was my master thesis um, at UC Berkeley. Um, and after graduation at the time, I was not necessarily sure I wanted to go into research. So I decided to make a change and I joined Procter & Gamble in Geneva, the, the big um, consumer good company. Um, I joined as a financial analyst in the home care departments. I was not doing engineering work anymore, so I wasn't really doing anything related to nanotech. But my technical knowledge came in quite handy when I had to forecast the cost of a production plan or increase the distribution network efficiency. After PNG, I moved into consulting to broaden a little bit the scope of my work. And I worked for a few years for McKinsey & Company, helping organizations to transform their business and bring innovative products to market. I was then lucky enough to uh, be admitted to, to the Harvard Business School in Boston for my MBA. And after my MBA and spending another year with McKinsey, and I had the opportunity to join the startup world. At first, I joined um, a company in the neurotech space um, and I helped them to fundraise. And after that experience, which lasted about six to six months, I joined Ginkgo, Ginkgo Bioworks in the business development team. And this is a very good question. I would say the answer is twofold. Um, on the one hand, I have to be honest, I don't really use a lot of the facts and the notion that I've learned in nanotech. Um, on the other hand, I would say that I would never, I would have never got here. I would have never had the professional path I had without nanotech. So if I take a step back, I think there's three things that a school is teaching you. The first is the fact and the notions. The second is a method to learning, a method to to um, a approach a new challenge. The third thing is the mindset. So that actually, to, for me, was probably the most important thing. Um, I think nanotech really gave me an open, curious, and can-do mindset um, in a way that I would have never got otherwise. Um, after the program, I want to be honest, I actually saw the world in a different light. And the reasons are multiple. First of all, um, I was in a classroom with people from all over the world. They were, all of them were incredibly motivated. Secondly, we were traveling all the time. So we were exposed to different cultures and places and languages all the time, picking up new habits. We were challenged continuously to expand our horizon. Um, and, and thirdly, um, it really felt like no ambition was too great. No objective was too far anymore. We could really do anything we wanted. Um, and for instance, an example is the internship. I wasn't looking for internships in Turin anymore. No, I was really applying to France, Switzerland, the, U the, the US. I actually went to Berkeley for my master thesis. Um, I wasn't looking for a job anymore after school. I was looking for a profession. I was looking for something that really fulfilled me. From my standpoint, I'm incredibly grateful to, to the school and to what it gave me because it really allowed me to, to dream big.
Uh, what I did not realize is how much it would shape my life from then on. Um, it hasn't just shaped my career, but also my personal life. The friends I made there became friends for life. And I even met my future wife while I was doing my master thesis at Berkeley. So in many ways, this program has shaped my life in many ways um, outside of just my education. Um, I think I would have never gone to UC Berkeley without analogy, but in more in general, I would have never done the career path I had. So uh, yeah, I'm very pleased with my choice. Nanotech has shaped the way I, the, the way I approach my work in a disproportional way. Um, even now, after many years in business and after an MBA, I still see myself as a scientist first and a businessman um, after. Um, and I really think that the intersection between science and business is what really makes my profile stand out. It's my real strength and, and one that I think um, I leverage every day. Nanotech is very unique um, in Europe because it gives you that kind of breadth of interest that many other schools don't give you. Um, so this kind of you know diverse curriculum, uh, these many many experiences, uh, the opportunity to travel and experience different cultures. That's really really unique. I think Nanotech should do more of that. I think to some extent that's the strength of this program. That's the reason why I chose it, and I suppose that's the reason why many other people choose it. This kind of breadth of interest, this breadth of industries, these experiences, international experiences, and I think Nanotech should really leverage, embrace the identity of, of being multicultural, of being, um, you know, diverse and, 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 and push it even further. Um, to me, that has been the, the biggest thing that the, this, this program has given me. And, 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 you know, the more we can make nanotech, um, you know, to some extent, less nano and more tech, the more we can make it, um, you know, broader, uh, the more I think is going to be relevant for, for the students while they're attended, but also after when they're looking for a job and also throughout their entire career.